Here I'm referring to the science of epigenetics. And epigenetics is the science of how genes are regulated, how genes are expressed. And you can think of genes having little volume controls that go from low to high. And while we're all born with a fixed complement of base pairs that constitute our DNA, the extent to which a gene is turned on or turned off is highly dynamic and can be impacted by experience. We know, for example, from hard-nosed biological research that the way a mother interacts with her offspring can significantly impact the regulation of genes in the brains of the offspring. And the regulation, the alteration of gene expression can persist for the entire duration of that offspring's life based on these early interactions between the mother and her baby. Just last year, we published for the first time in a major scientific paper, the first evidence showing that if we bring long-term meditation practitioners into the laboratory and we <clears throat> simply take blood samples before and after a day of intensive practice over the course of eight hours, we actually were able to show that over the course of just this eight hours of practice, we can see evidence of a measurable alteration in gene expression. And so just eight hours of practice is sufficient to induce an alteration in gene expression through purely mental practice. And this is very much a proof of concept. There's much more work to be done. But this underscores how dynamic these systems are. We once thought that both the brain and our genomics were basically fixed. And if there was change in development, it was basically kind of decomposition and degeneration over the course of development. We now know that those views are just completely wrong and that there is much more plasticity in these systems than we ever would have imagined. And in the brain, we know, for example, that one form of plasticity was, which, was, which we were taught never existed when we were students is the growth of actual new brain cells. It's a process called neurogenesis. 